That's great. Oh, yeah, it just warms the heart so to see that. To see. Yeah, I so know. Back to normalcy there. for them. Yeah. Finally. Oh, I mean, yeah. and it's I amazing re to see it. I remember two years ago exactly standing there, and it was, ch I mean, I didn't know how they were ever going to get mm. that thing put back together. It's I mean, bad. it was just piles of debris and mud and, you know, because their placement near the river, I mean, mm -hmm. it was just everything got so flooded out. Mm. Um, so amazing the work that they've done there. And, uh, and you know, those fans were so uh, excited. I mean, be. it was packed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's a perfect night for it, especially And they had the, the mountains, governor I mean, and the great. mayor there tonight. The I mean, this is a big deal. Yeah. It was, it, it was the, you know, the, the new chapter there for the football team, mm -hmm. but also with the paper mill closing and everything, you know, yeah. back to that. Where it's like, you know, they're just, they're just there together as a community. I hear you. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. Because it's lots, lots of good news tonight. Well, we take a look tomorrow morning. That's some good news, too. You're hitting the farmer's market. It's going to be pleasant in the morning. Mid-60s for the upstate, 50s for the mountains, mostly sunny skies. It'll be a mild feel outside. It's going to warm up fast. We're going to be in the 80s Saturday and then back to the 90s on Sunday. Oh, this brings a tear to my eye. Not in a, not in a oh, that's wonderful way, but in a Boy, I was really hoping to avoid this kind of way. Uh, it's going to be hot. 96 in, um, on Monday, even hotter on Tuesday. Could even build more toward the end of next week. So we've got another heat wave coming. So next big thing that really is going to be the big time heat, but also the tropics. I want to show you something here. We're going to stay dry this weekend. That's also a big thing because we don't often uh, have dry weekends around here. But watch what happens in the Gulf of Mexico going into Monday of next week. We're going to have some moisture moving in that could get organized into a tropical area of low pressure. And right now it's about a 40 to 50 percent chance of that happening. Uh, but either way, there could be some significant rains moving into Texas as well as Louisiana. At this point, it doesn't look like we're going to see any big impacts out of whatever does form, but we will keep you posted. Things could always change. We're also watching other systems in the Atlantic, but first we'll start over in the Gulf where that one is highlighted to have about a 40% chance of development. That chance has actually gone up over the next several or last few days because models have been picking up on some potential development. And then we've also got three other areas out here in the Atlantic. Now the one that's farthest out has a 70% chance of development. This one most likely will not make it to the United United States. And these two, we're not seeing any major signs that they will, but at the same time, they'll be ones to watch. They're going to be battling some Saharan dust and some slightly unfavorable conditions, but this one is getting a little bit more organized and could be um, on its way into the open waters of the Atlantic. But just a recap of our forecast for this weekend, we'll be looking at 80s on Saturday and then upper 80s to low 90s Sunday. So if you're going to plan a hike or something outside that doesn't involve the pool, I'd do it on Saturday. Sunday, it looks like you're better day to be by the water, maybe jump in the lake um, because it's going to start to feel a whole lot hotter outside. In your next seven days, mostly sunny skies uh, for Saturday and Sunday. And then look at that heat up. We're going to be up in the upper 90s Tuesday. Hopefully we can get some relief toward middle of next week and we'll increase that chance of some showers and storms. But there's a chance that heat could linger pretty much all week long. So we'll keep you posted on that. In the mountains, mostly sunny up to the upper 80s by Sunday. Low 90s in the mountains Monday and Tuesday. Uh, we may be looking at first alert weather day heat. We're going to be watching Tuesday especially for that. And then small rain chances will return Thursday into Friday. Now to keep up with the weather throughout the weekend, be sure to download the Fox Carolina First Alert weather app. I was talking to some folks who really rely on this when they're out on their jet skis, their boats on the lake. Uh, when you are away from your TV, you have your phone with you. If you have this app on your phone, it will actually send you an alert if it detects lightning or heavy rain close to your location. So it can really be a valuable tool when you're not constantly checking radar, but could let you know if dangerous weather is close.